back in the day when we were doing OCD and we were switching over to WebGL, some people from Google Health came to us and they said, you know, we have this dream that we want to actually make a visualizer of the human body, the human anatomy. We want it in 3D, we want it to run in, browser everywhere, in the browser everywhere. And we think that this is about the right time. You seem to have some technology that you can do that. So we started off uh, uh, trying to prototype something together. And, and a few months later, um, 100% time again, uh, this is the result. So, so we call this the body browser. Uh, it's something that, that we're about to, to sort of release and announce in a couple of days, hopefully, this week. But essentially, it's a, it's a high-resolution model of the human anatomy. It's all running in the browser here. Uh, you can peel slowly the layers of it. So uh, you can see here we have the muscle layer. Uh, you can go further down. Uh, see the skeleton, the organs, uh, full interactive. Go down to uh, sort of uh, you know, the nervous system. Uh, the other cool thing you can do with this is, is you can also uh, use it as a sort of a tool to, to look for parts of the human anatomy. So I can start typing here, say that I want to find, you know, a lung, type this, uh, it focuses on the lung, um, or um, uh, the thing is if, if I want to find what sort of a specific body part is called, say, uh, go back a little bit, um, find this uh, bone here on the leg, the femur, it allows me to sort of rotate around it and all that. And, and all this is, is really data that was exported. It's a, it's a high-res model with textures. It was exported from Maya. Uh, we passed it through some uh, uh, pipeline where we actually compressed the data a little bit to transfer it over because, the, as you can imagine, the files are, are pretty huge. And then on the client side, we do some decompression of these binary files. We load in and, and we render it. In order to do this, uh, you know, this picking, we, we also use WebGL to draw to an off-screen surface. Uh, the same geometry using different colors for the parts. So whenever you know the mouse is on top of some piece of geometry, you can read the color and you can infer what you know what geometry you're over. And it all works really well. Uh, uh, there's you know there's various modes here that you can sort of selectively turn off features. Um, and that's about it. I don't want to take too much time. I just uh, was excited about this and I wanted to show it off. Uh, so here it is.